All right, so hopefully you already watched the first video where I went over the instructions for this project. I'm gonna focus on the research proposal that is due Friday, May 1st, and it is 10 points. So the research proposal really shouldn't take very long. I encourage you to look through um, a couple of different people to make sure that you are committing to the right person for your project. But once you have chosen your person from the list provided, you are going to, uh, to look up some basic information in order to answer this question. The central question for this assignment is how has the person that you have researched affected history in our daily lives? What you're going to do is you're going to tell me who you are researching. You are going to tell me about the first three sources that come to mind. Again, it cannot be Wikipedia, but let's say for example, I'm researching Catherine of Aragon and my first three sources, I just found three websites that give me a basic idea of who I'm looking at. You then explain why you chose this person, how you're going to answer the research question you've created, aka up here, and what resources you want to use. This portion should com be um, a complete paragraph of six to eight compound sentences, meaning it should not just be, I chose Catherine of Aragon. She was queen of England. She was from Spain. No, none of that. We have higher expectations. It should be six to eight nice complete sentences that include multiple ideas. At the very end, you are expected to list three questions that you want to answer in your paper that are related to what you've researched. So you write your paragraph here and then give me three more questions that you feel like you need to answer in your research. Once you finish this, you just hit turn in. I'll take a look at it and we'll go from there.